Okay, good morning. It is a Tuesday morning. It is a cloudy day down in Southern California, raining in Santa Barbara, raining in San Diego, raining in Los Angeles. That's the system. Got a little glitch here, but that's the system right there. That's moving into Southern California. Here we are, our, here's the Bay Area right here on the north end. We are seeing clouds from that system. We will see this system as it goes to the south of us. Open the door for this system. This system looks good. And look at that speckled cloud cover. That's open cell cumulus representing colder air. So snow levels will be down. They're not gonna be that high, which is awesome. It's already snowing in Big Bear. This is uh, Jackie. And I know that now because she's got the black spot on her forehead, which somebody, one of you nice subscribers let me in on. And so she's got, the babies are getting big. I was watching her feed them this morning. So she's getting a little snow. It was snowing earlier, just a dusting, but th this bird and her eaglets and uh, shadows eaglets, that's the male, see the black spot right there. Um, that uh, they're gonna get a bunch of snow. This, this Wednesday thing will, and into Thursday is gonna cause some wind in that tree and also some issues for the birds. The birds will be fine, but I mean, just it's not gonna be a comfortable period for them. So we'll keep an eye on the birds, the eagles, if you will. Um, and it's funny, it's not funny, but it's when I was a kid, you didn't, I grew up in Northern California, not far from Redding and Lake Mount Lassen, up in paradise and never saw golden eagles. They were federally endangered birds. And now, of course, obviously north of um, Oregon, they're everywhere, especially when you get up into the San Juan Islands and into Alaska. But down this far south, we didn't. And so here we're charting eagles down into Big Bear. So sometimes I know we're all naysayers about the environment and there are issues with the environment always. But I always say, you know, my grandparents grew up in the city, you know, back in the 1800s. And they didn't see... Um, what didn't they see? They didn't see mountain lions. They didn't see bear. They didn't see turkeys. They didn't see, there weren't a lot of any, a lot of whales. They were all, you know, a lot of that stuff had gone away because of hunting or whatever. Um, and so in some ways, I know there's a lot of things bad about the environment, but in some ways I see the ecosystem in the Bay Area getting better. I was thinking, I was driving, surfing yesterday and I was going by, um, Oh gosh, on the towards the Bay Bridge, and you're not old enough to remember this, but there used to be out on the bay as early as the '70s. There used to be duck blinds, duck blinds. I think there was a duck club out by Emeryville. Maybe there still is, but duck blinds. I mean, they're shooting ducks in the bay, which is normal to shoot ducks if you're a hunter. But in San Francisco, it's just weird to think that that in juxtaposition. Okay, enough history. A little bit of Mount Tamalpais, Golden Gate Bridge, right there. These clouds representing the system to the south, believe it or not, they're throwing up, it's throwing up clouds towards us. Here is Santa Barbara, and you can see the rain coming down. Let's see, I'll play it up for you here. This is Santa Barbara this morning, um, a little while ago, but you can see the showers. Not heavy, but wet. Beautiful day in Northern California, wet in Southern California, Northern California, Mount Shasta. Going to get a bunch of snow on Wednesday, Thursday. Snow levels are going to be down to 5,000 feet probably. A couple of feet easy for this area, but that's not right away. That These clouds representing cloud cover from that system of the south. So the deal is that system, when it came in, it basically split in two. We talked about it yesterday. Now, that lower chunk is, go is what's going through you guys in San Diego and Los Angeles, and that's sliding through. It's going to be wet, especially right down south of Santa Monica, down into San Diego area. I think they're going to get some, you guys are going to get some pretty significant rainfall um, over the next, certainly the next couple of days. Let's take a look at the San Diego camera. This is UC San Diego, and you can see the system loading up. Sun coming up as well. It's dark at seven o'clock in the morning at my house. And look at that southerly flow, right? So those clouds are coming from the south and heading towards the north. That's how you know it's inclement weather going to be. And then the shower should start right about, there they are. You see those little rain shafts? Isn't that awesome? Yeah, so you can see the rain shafts pretty easily. So here is the system. Uh, I hope you can see that. Maybe I'll move it this way a little bit. So that's the system right there. And it still has this low center to go through. This is as of eight o'clock, eight, nine o'clock this morning. So, and then this is the next system. Look at all that cold air coming in. That is the main event for Northern California and eventually will slide into Southern California and accentuate the rainfall that they're getting now. 
So we can see all this more clearly, hopefully, on the GFS um, sea level pressure model. Here we are right now, Southern California, Bears Point Conception, I always talk about it because in my mind, that's once you hit, turn that corner, you're in Southern California. Uh, some people, we, there's always been debates over what is Central California, what is Northern, and it's all uh, subjective. But I, I just think in terms of weather, Point Conception is a big, big break and change in the weather. And you can see it happening here as that low breaks off. And then watch right down on the border. You see that boom right on the border. That's this afternoon. And then that low comes on shore. And then in Ensenada, Rosarita Beach, you guys get hit pretty good. And then it moves off. So, and again, today, you know, south of Santa Monica, south of Oxnard, scattered showers, and then it moves out pretty quick. And then this guy, the one I showed you with all the cold air, moves in. This is to Wednesday morning, mid morning. This is Wednesday afternoon. That looks really good. That's right on the afternoon commute tomorrow for the Bay Area. Um, Santa Barbara, you're not seeing much until tomorrow evening and early Thursday morning. Southern California, you're not seeing anything until early, early Thursday morning, 5, 6 a.m. And then there, San Diego gets another pop. So overall, right now, I think San Diego has the potential to get more rain than anybody even Marin County, because a lot of this stuff really is favoring the south. Lake Tahoe is going to do really well for snowfall. But the basic timing here is Wednesday, right, Wednesday morning, right through Wednesday afternoon into Thursday morning. So that Wednesday and Thursday morning, Thursday afternoon in the mountains, Thursday night, unsettles. Let's just go Wednesday, Thursday unsettled for all of us okay so just plan accordingly the big hit will be wednesday afternoon and then you get a bit of a break which i always look for so here's thursday afternoon the big break big break into friday and then there's friday morning so you can get a little time to dry out and then that system looks relatively not inconsequential but it should be and then here comes the rainfall accumulations these accumulate, this is accumulation. This is just a way to look at how much is, where could the hot spots, where could the problems be in the state and the West Coast? And there's uh, San Diego coming in at almost, I always have trouble reading that, about a quarter of an inch. And then by Wednesday morning, San Jose's just over a quarter of an inch, maybe three quarters of an inch on the border. And then that system starts to come in. So that first system moving through right now, you guys, it's, you know, half an inch of rain, quarter of an inch of rain for, for you guys down south. And then here comes this system. And this is through Thursday morning, which should be the main hit. And that's manageable water, right? Mountains are going to get unloaded on. They're going to get a lot of snow and they're going to get low snow down below Blue Canyon, um, down you know near Ashland on the pass there. You're going to see rain, snow uh, above... Uh, 4,800 feet and then snow after 5,000 feet. And then this takes us through Thursday afternoon. So when I look at that, that's the main event, right? Maybe I'll go a little further. So Thursday afternoon. So when I look at that, I go, okay, this is all manageable. You know, that's going to be three feet of snow at Mammoth Mountain. That's going to be two feet of snow at Lake Tahoe. That's going to be an inch and a half of rain in the burn zones of Southern California. That's not going to be super helpful. But I think they can manage it. Now, if something changes, system stalls out. When you pointed that out, yeah, they can stall out. Um, especially this low that's going through right now. That's the kind of thing that would stall out. This next system looks progressive. But either way, I'm not seeing anything that makes me go, oh my gosh, you know, you know, oh boy, we're going to get a flooding event or we're going to have mudslides. No, usual stuff for March. And now if I go all the way out 14 days, that's the, these are the rainfall accumulations as of March 15th. And so you can see, is that March 15th? Yes, or, or yeah, March 15th. So that's not, how many days is that? March 15th, March 11th. So that's not that much. It's only a week or so. So, but you still see these numbers are all really manageable, really manageable numbers. So that, if it turns out, if it goes down this way, we're fine. So Wednesday, Thursday, wet, especially Wednesday. There's the system undercutting. This is the, the big system that's really going to do the most uh, rain and snow for Lake Tahoe, Mount Shasta, most rain for the Bay Area, Marin County maybe gets a couple inches of rain, San Francisco maybe gets an inch of rain. I always say, especially in the Central Bay and, and San Francisco Bay Area, if you get an inch of rain in a winter storm in San Francisco, it's a good storm. It's a good storm. If you get two inches of rain in San Francisco, 
And now you're starting to get into infrastructure issues, right? Because of all the concrete. So two inches of rain in San Francisco would mean like four inches of rain in the Berkeley Hills or eight inches of rain in the Marin Headlands. Believe it or not, there's that kind of microclimate activity. But uh, we're not seeing, I'm not seeing that right now uh, via the models. Uh, this is the forecast um, concern page, if you will, national weather map showing watches and warnings. Pinks represent the winter storm warning. Browns where there's going to be wind. And then the greens down here, where we already kind of talked about the flood watches and things like that, which makes sense, again, because you're going to get over an inch, maybe an inch and a half of rain over 36 hours in the burn zones, and that'll get you some problems. And all the way into San Diego, they could see an inch and a half of rain too. That's a lot of rain for San Diego, maybe two inches. I've seen some numbers saying two and a half inches. Um, and maybe, maybe, but right now the models I'm looking at are showing uh, two inches, two and in, maybe two inches, maybe a little less. And then here are the wind advisories out in Texas, winter storm warning in Missouri, and then wind advisories up around Pennsylvania. So yeah, not a bad travel day. These are the forecast rain or forecast temperatures for today. Mm. By the way, thanks for being with me. I have a lot of new subscribers. I appreciate it. One of you people called it uh, the California bundle, right? Which is kind of interesting because it is. It's kind of like weather, surf, ski, weather, birds, all right? Who knows what the hell it is? But uh, yeah, that's what somebody, a buddy of mine goes, I don't know what the hell you're doing, but I like it. And I'm like, okay, that's enough for me. Because this is what I would do if I had, like in television, I've been in television like 35 years, if I could have done what I wanted to do. Not that they would tell you what to do, but you go, here's two and a half minutes make do do all this in two and a half minutes and make it stick it's like right so that's that you know but now it's like you guys if you care enough to if you're here right now you care about weather and it's nice to be able to whatever i don't know a ton i i have a lot of experience i have a degree in meteorology went to berkeley went to atmospheric science graduate school i know a lot but i know very little compared to with the more you know the less you know when i got out of school i knew everything i was so smart and then I realized somewhere in the last many years that I am not, that, there are so many people, especially in this profession, uh, Doug Stinton's a good friend of mine, guys like that, John Farley, uh, Mike, Mark Fine is awesome. I mean, I, there are, you know, there's, there's some really talented meteorologists out there. My skill, I think is, this is Palisades Tahoe. My skill, I think, is I can take fairly difficult concepts and make them go, and you go, so you go, oh, that's all that is, right? you know, centripetal force, things like that, and make it make you go, oh, that's what that is. Um, so hopefully that hopefully that's what's working for you. Uh, lake Tahoe, not a lot of wind on the lake, a beautiful day to ski. Tuesday might be the day to ski. Tuesday might be the day to ski. I'm gonna get I was gonna go this weekend, but this storm looks pretty, pretty beefy. This is uh, Sugar Bowl. Let's see if I can pull that up. And yeah, chairlifts moving, the train park, uh, beautiful day. Just stunning. This is the Palisades. It's not Palisade Tall, but they, at Sugar Bowl, they call those the Palisades up on Mount Lincoln. And then this is the Disney chairlift. We used to call it Mount uh, Judah. No, Jerome. I guess it's Jerome Hill. Gosh, I'm sure somebody's screaming right now at the YouTube. This is Ocean Beach. Looks pretty surfable, but you don't see a lot of guys out because it's squirrely. It's big. It's like six to eight, maybe some 10 foot sets. A lot of water moving. Tide's high right now, and it's working its way out. Swell kind of hovers in the, you know, six to eight foot range for all of us. Oh, that's a great shot of the Pelicans. Um, it's six to eight foot range. As, you know, you can see uh, Steamer Lane, very deep water. A guy going out here. Now, as the tide drops, it's going to get better and better. I like this shot of the lane because the sun hits that bluff really awesomely. And then guy just jumps in. I'm never the guy. This is sort of the local move. I never do that because I just go, there's nothing worse than getting, because you got to, most guys just paddle out from the steps, but there's a, there's kind of a, you know, don't go here path and you have to time it pretty good, especially when it's bigger because I think it'd mess you up. But um, I've never been the guy who jumps off the rock. I actually knew guys, uh, I remember when Flea and those guys, when they're in Vince and the, when I used to surf here back in the 70s, They'd come out here, and it was a power move. They'd jump off the bluff all the way. And, it, geez, it's maybe four feet, five feet deep there. So just weather nuance or surf nuances. Here is Lindemar. Beautiful day. I can see why people love it there. And Pedro Point right here. People ask all the time, is that surfable? 
I've heard of guys surfing it. Bulldog used to surf it back in the 70s. I can't remember the other guy that used to go out there. But uh, it, uh, it, it, it can break. Okay, so that's a lot. Let's do the big picture one more time. There's the low. Here's the next system. And here's the birds. I think I got the birds here. Let's see. There we go. Um, and they're getting snow. So we'll check in on Jackie and Shadow. And again, Jackie's got the black dot on her head. Thanks for hanging in. That's a lot of weather. There it is. Oh, I love that. I literally, I know it sounds weird and freaky, but I literally have a big screen in my kitchen. I just put it on this channel and let it roll. It's awesome for the sounds. Like you think the, the visuals are awesome. Sounds are even more awesome because you, um, I don't think I have the sound on right now for because it, it'll go through. Yeah, good. The sounds are even more awesome because you hear birds coming in, you hear a truck go by, you hear an airplane go by. You kind of get, it. it's like getting a glimpse into her day. Um, and it's interesting too, because a lot of the, the food that was around the nest has been cleared out. Um, she's beautiful. Yeah. That's Jackie. Wow. All right. Well, anyway, I just <laughs> have a good morning. Thanks for tuning in and all you new subscribers. Thanks for joining. It is sort of a California bundle. Um, I appreciate your time and, uh, tell a friend that would be helpful. All right. Take care.